What is going on, guys? We're just going to jump into this. So, last week, I was talking about the battery. We're going to get that done. I am also doing a bigger muffler now. And I also got donuts to try to get that exhaust to seal completely. And we're going to try to get rid of that rattling. This is the muffler I got. I'm about to weld this on. I just realized that it's, the muffler itself actually slips into a 2.5 inner diameter, which is great because it's going to make my life simple. I don't know if this is going to weld or not because this is regular mild steel, but it should. Cross my fingers. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weld this straight. And then from there, I will adjust that exhaust on the bottom down there. I'll cut that and do that. But for now, I'm going to bang this out and then we'll go under the car and start measuring stuff up. So I did forget that is not 100% argon. So these welds didn't come out amazing. They're toasty and crusty. I tried to mess with the stuff, but as you can see, it is doing all that browning. It's not supposed to do that, but it's still welded. So we're not worried about that. These ones came out way better. These were just tacks from the inside so that it doesn't do that uh, rattling that I got on the other set on the other side inside the as an remember i was telling you how the slip pipe is rattling so i did these so that it, this one doesn't do that and these came out really good unfortunately i forgot that that argon like i said is not 100 percent so these came out a little toasty but the good thing is if you look all of the welds stay together and like you saw hammering it it's good so this should be good to go the only thing that i have to do now is get this set up in the right spot on the back of that which is going to be me cutting that other one and shortening it and getting it welded up properly you guys are going to see me tomorrow but for you it's going to be the next clip and then i will hopefully be getting into cutting that one shorter so that we can get this fitted up properly so i put it on i got to hear a little bit of it i didn't get it completely sealed i just kind of put it on to hear it you guys aren't hearing it yet because it's not completely done yet. I want to get it in place and give you guys the full effect. Definitely, definitely quieter. Definitely sounds better. It's not exactly to my liking. I, uh, I'll i talk about that in a little bit. I'll talk about that in the next clip. But yes, it is definitely different. It definitely sounds, I don't want to say better. It sounds different. I like both. I honestly like the loudness of the other one. But as far as dailying it and being a little bit more into the radar, that one is much, much better. So I'm going to dial everything in, try to get it fitted up right. I'm trying to still figure out the flex in the exhaust because there is flex in the exhaust, which is, it's, there's no flex pipe in it. So I'm confused as to why that is. I got to figure out where that's coming from and what's moving around so that I can try to get this thing completely sealed. For y'all, it is the next clip. For me, it is the next day. So if you notice, my brother was in the background. And the reason for that being is because his transmission, his Honda, went. But I'm getting back to the exhaust. I'm not going to get the battery done this week. I only got one more day tomorrow, and we're probably going to be working on the Tundra. I am exhausted. I haven't really slept much. So I just wanted to at least bang out, get in the muffler in the right spot. Depending on how everything goes today, if we're not lazy, I'm going to try to really be on my on point today and maybe I'll put in the flex pipe and my words are not going to be the greatest because I don't have a lot of sleep but bear with me and hopefully we will get a nice cold start of the new muffler and how that sounds. Okay. Also to give you guys an idea in size this is this size that's how big this one is compared to that one so as you can see it is quite a bit bigger than this one uh so far it does sound bassier again i've heard it slightly on but sorry ron's over there making noise be a man So I'm gonna bolt this up. Again, as you guys know, don't touch this stuff because you're gonna leave fingerprints on it. I already did leave some prints on it. I don't care about this side. I just care about the tip to be honest with you. So this was from something else It is what it is. And yes, I gotta decide which way is gonna be up and which way is gonna be down. Pretty much I'm just gonna decide which side looks cleaner and then put that on top so that you can see the clean side up top. I 
in your gasket. That's what I gotta do. Hold on. I forgot. Let me get that first. So here's a nice new gasket. I got these from Ali Haha, as usual. <laughs> and they're actually really good. I think I paid for a 12 pack, like I ordered three, four packs. I think I paid nothing more than $10. So if you go to Ali Haha and you find yourself a reputable person, you can get these for dumb cheap. And they feel pretty decent. because the muffler was just too big it didn't it didn't want to stay there I was able to get the pipe a little bit higher by taking the muffler off so now I'm driving home with just a resonator I am so mad man because now I got to cut that off and redo all that work this time I'm taking the exhaust off so today was a fail it's raining uh, what are you gonna do man you hear it pissing me off. I'm hoping it doesn't fall off. If it falls off, I'm going to be really annoyed. This is not a good day. It's not a good week. This is fantastic! I hope you guys are enjoying this. Because I'm not. So, honestly, this is the interesting thing. There's a few things. I know, it's turned from a battery video into an exhaust video real fast. The resonator, like just the resonator alone because that's all that's on here right now with pipe. Idle, it doesn't sound, it sounds quieter, which is weird. Why? I don't know. It sounds less bassy, which makes it seem quieter. Decibel wise, when it's revving with the muffler is definitely quieter, but not I don't know with the new muffler yet because I didn't really get to drive it. But when you're revving and it pops, just resonator, it's actually like, it's not loud. It's not crazy loud like ear piercing, but it's a lot louder than it is when it's on the muffler. So that was cool. So I'm thinking I need another resonator. For now, I'm just gonna fix this exhaust tomorrow. I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna re-weld all that stuff. I'm gonna take it off this time and do it right instead of welding it in inside the car. Cause that's what I did for the last piece. I knew it was a possibility. I just didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I thought I was gonna have enough clearance. That was stupid. So now I'm doing triple the work. I guess at least I have a running car, right? Gotta look at the silver line. But I am so mad. I wanted to hear the car. It's also raining, so it's just, you know, well the dip and all that. It's just long week. I'm going to go to bed. You guys will see me in the next clip, which will be tomorrow for me. I hope you guys are enjoying me losing my sanity over this. Um, I'm probably gonna have a laugh watching these clips and wish me luck on the new exhaust that I have to bang out tomorrow. What a week, bro. To top it all off, I got the wrong size resonator. Now, I'm gonna make it work because I do have stuff for this and I did, like I was talking about, did want to go to two and a quarter. I'll order two and a quarter. Either. So 
nice fat boy. If I can find the pieces that I have, let me see. I know where one is. One is simple. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna weld this to this or what, but this is two and a quarter. So that will fit on there. That's not an issue. The issue is that one, I'm gonna have to cut this and or put a flange on the other side of this so that I can bolt it up to this, which isn't a terrible idea, but I don't know yet. And then I gotta find the other one of this that I have so that I can put it on. I hope that's not it. I don't know, but it's around here somewhere. I have to set this up and weld this all together so that this can be to two and a half. And then hopefully this will quiet the car up a decent amount. I honestly might just throw in the towel, get this in there, have this set up. Cause the car is not that loud right now. So I can, it's drivable. It's just that the exhaust is touching the ground. If I put this in, it should be even more drivable. And if that's the case, maybe I'll like it. I can test it. And if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, then I'll either take it out and put the muffler on the end and or keep it and put the muffler on the end. We'll see. Let me find this other pipe so that I can get this going and then put this car in the air and do all this work. So as you can see, we've got this little workshop going on here. Don't worry about this guy. Don't worry about this guy. I just made it out yesterday. I was so angry. I just tossed everything on here. What we are using is this stuff over here. So this is two and a quarter. This works with this so I can weld this here, right? I'm probably gonna cut the flange off. So what I notice is that this outlet over here is pretty much two and a half. So this fits, so I'm gonna weld that on. And then from there, I'm thinking I might weld this flex pipe on the back of this so that we can have the flex pipe in there to give this exhaust some flex. Obviously, once I get everything done from there, then I can put this up on the back over there and put this in position, put it into the hanger and start getting stuff fitted up. I'm probably gonna cut this off so that it's just one hanger. Unless I can somehow put this, I might be able to. I might be able to do it like this, slide it in and then get it to sit like this. It all depends on where the pipe is gonna wanna lay. But for now, we're gonna get this to two and a half. And we're gonna get this to two and a half and then go from there. What I do have to do is I have to cut this shorter because if you look here, there's this little slot so you can slot a pipe in there, but we're not going to do that. So I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to weld this pipe to it as straight as I can and go from there. So let's get into a time lapse and let's just get to, to work. As you can see, I'm doing this without welding gloves and it's burning and I'm popping. I gotta try to play with the settings to get it right. I'm just trying to send it to be honest with you because I'm just tired of this. Trying to play with the settings to get this dialed in and hopefully get this going. Everything's welding, but if you saw I put the tag and then it fell off. It just burned my foot because slag popped off into my foot. Again, I just wanna get this done, I'm tired. I'm really frustrated with this. I did sleep a little bit, but I just couldn't sleep for long. You know, I was just thinking about doing all this stuff. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to look up some stuff to try to see if I get this to stop popping. I changed the argon and this is not 100% argon. I feel like it's popping more than the other one because the, the spool is no different. This is the same spool as, that I've been using and I haven't had any issues. Yeah, and I'm running out as well. I may have to go to the store and get some of that. Just checking things. Let me get back to it. I don't got it this week, y'all. So, this is the story of how I ruined my exhaust. Uh, um, yeah, I know. So I just cut back here. I did some more dumb stuff and just cut. So what I was thinking was because over there where the slip pipe is, that pipe should come out. It did not come out. It's pretty in there. 
And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out. I'm hoping that driving it, maybe it'll pop out on its own. It's a little piece of metal, it's not much, but if I can't get it out, I cannot slip the other piece in there. So the idea was, because then I realized that I could have just slipped this into that if I can get this piece out. Now, I still don't think I'm gonna have enough space to put this there, I don't know yet, but if that is the case, and it does fit, it can go here, and then we can go back to the muffler. Although, there's plans for other things that may make the car lower, and this is why I don't want it to be that low. So what I'm thinking is, wait till next week and do it all right, because if I sit here and fight myself on this, I'm just gonna waste more energy, possibly do it worse. These welds are terrible. They're not good. They're okay, they'll hold, but they're just, I might as well wait and be patient and do this right. So my other thought process is instead of putting this over here, put it in place of the muffler. I don't know yet. We have to figure out how this sounds with this on there. And unless that comes out easy, that's not getting done today. I am too exhausted. Again, if I keep doing this, I'm just gonna make it worse. So, I ruined my exhaust this week. Hopefully I can sort it out next week. I don't know if I wanna order my pieces. I really don't wanna spend more money right now. I just spent another $50 on this resonator, which should work. It's just trying to get the resonator to fit and then also putting it on the hangers because I don't feel like with this thing dangling on those zip ties, it is doing so hot it would survive if i would have kept the one on there the muffler that was small on there i could have just left this alone completely and dealt with the rattle but me being impatient and want to put the new muffler on i did not do that and now being being impatient again i cut all the way up here when i could have just cut back there and pretty much set up the old setup again again it involves more welding that i don't feel like doing i am exhausted i know this is a crappy week this is a boring week and it's a crap i mean it's a sucky week because we didn't even really get to hear anything we got to hear the other muffler set up with the this regular resonator but yeah i'm just really exhausted i'm disappointed um disappointed that's really the only word i got for you i apologize guys i know you probably didn't enjoy this week i sure didn't i hope you guys got to enjoy my craziness and yes peace out See you next week.